This is a baked egg. It's like coddled eggs, but you don't need a little coddler. How many of you in the audience have those little coddlers with the tops that screw on? Anybody? Oh, quite a few. Amazing. They're kind of, do you have those at home? I don't. Oh, you should say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Of course, I do. <laughs> so here, very easy. Butter your little ramekins. Okay. These are called ramekins or custard cups. That's buttered already. Okay. And now we have to add three eggs without shells. Oh, wait a minute. A little, butter, a little bacon first. Just a little sprinkling of bacon down on the bottom. We don't get and to use a little hole puncher thing again? No, you don't have okay. to. Isn't that great? I was kind of getting to, getting to like it. Yeah, okay, next time. You can, you can practice. The kitchen staff is waiting for you. <laughs> they were not They're impressed back you. there. Okay, so you make as many as you want. I mean, if you have 12 people over staying out, you're not supposed to break the yolk. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that's nice. And we have to wipe up our counter. Oh, look, I'm so sorry about look. that. You've got an egg white all over the leave, counter. So. And we're now... Uh, can you pour the hot water in there into the pan without getting it into the custard cup? Yes. Yes. I say that. Yes. Yes, I'm pretty good so far. Okay. So about halfway up. Okay, and that way you're creating a steam bath, like a bain-marie they call it, yes. Marie's bath. And then cover with either a piece of parchment and foil, or the newest, yes. the newest, I invented this. This is a Martha creation? Yeah, it's called Martha Wrap. And I'm not kidding, this really is Martha Wrap, and it is in selected stores everywhere. That is so smart. Yeah, and, um, and so it's parchment, so your food never touches the aluminum foil. We've been waiting for this. And that's not a commercial, but look, it, it, it actually crimps. But it's hard to get aluminum foil to crimp if you have parchment, but we figure it out a way. way. Yes. So that goes into a 375 degree oven for 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. Make believe it's in the Leave oven. It there. Yeah. They, it comes out, and this is what it looks like. See, partially cooked. Ah, See, yes. almost cooked, but not quite. So, what do you want on yours? You can have Gruyere, chives, parsley, or goat Let's cheese. Let's do a little of everything. Okay, is that you, crazy? that's your two. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do one. My friend Joe wants just Gruyere and chives. He said. Okay. And you want everything. And I want Gruyere goat cheese. Look how pretty, isn't it beautiful? And then this gets covered again and back into the oven for um, another 10 minutes. And what did you call these little um, Ra Ramekins or ramekins. custard cups. Okay. Here, let me see, here's a towel for you. Thank you. Okay, and then this goes right back over and get that right back into your hot oven. So here's your beautiful this cobble is it? egg. This Finished is product? it, product? There. It's yours with goat cheese and, and oh, parsley. This is lovely. And that's what it looks like with a nice piece of um, pan segla from Balthazar. Oh, is that your favorite bread? I love Balthazar. Oh, yeah. so 